On the other hand, did we ever talk about diaper fetishism in this thread? I'd like some confirmation that I'm not the only diaper lover on these forums. Damn it! Why is it so difficult to find other nerds with my fetishes? Ugh, and trying to find nerdicles with them? God damn, I'm gonna be searching for a long time. Because I only want to get into a relationship with a girl who likes stuff like anime, video games, role-playing games, TV tropes itself. I hate normal people. I couldn't imagine being in a relationship with one. Preferably Japanese-American, or a, quote, Japanese but learned English and is fluent in it, then moved to America, unquote, girl. I'm not a weebo for this, am I? I just want an otaku girlfriend because having to downplay all my hobbies and stuff to satisfy a normal person would practically kill me. W hat the hell? My diaper fetish thread here just got zapped. God, the mods here are ridiculous. Guess I'll have to take it to this thread then. I'm surprised that it took me three years to realize I'm a masochist. <laughs> Bambinos has discontinued their production of their diapers in small size. I'm skinny as hell and I can't fit into their mediums or higher. God damn it, fuck you, Bambinos! The same thing happens here. I'm always scared that you guys will hate me for my personal beliefs or something. That's why I get so pissed when people insult my beliefs. I keep thinking you guys will go, Oh look, it's that stupid fucking diaper fetishist slash conservative slash Christian Chagin. Nothing real beats the girls in hentai. Call me a creepy otaku fuck, I don't care. What is it about diaper fetishism that turns normal people into sly bigots? Ever since I outed myself, I can't go a single discuss discussion without someone saying some kind of derogatory comment about it. I think I'm the only one on this forum who has been subject to slander against my fetish. We can have guru fans, macrophiliacs, and fat fetishists, but how fucking dare you have a diaper fetish? Heaven forbid. Seriously, people, it's a goddamn underwear fetish. Now please, someone tell me just what makes lingerie fetish different from a diaper fetish. They're both underwear fetishes, yet one is accepted and one isn't. I'm getting sick of the creepy comments. Let me live my life the way I please. Also, I, I don't like vaginas. At all. All that complicated stuff inside them triggers my paranoia. And as for sex, I'm not good in very fast situations like that. And I'm awkward around people. And I don't like people touching me. And I hate being locked into doing only one repetitive thing at a time. I hate therapists. They trigger my paranoia way too much. I hate being alone in a room with one, one other person. I hate having to talk to somebody. I hate their fake sympathy. I hate telling other people my problems. I hate every single thing about therapists. My god. I'm reading this thread at school. I hope they don't look through the history. Also, I'm at a public library right now. I'm on the computers in the children's section. There's a guy who goes to my school sitting right next to me and could spread rumors fast. And yet, I just admitted to like pissing. I use my imagination. When you're a diaper fetish otaku, you have to use your imagination. Oh, come on. Blood as a tag has 9,919 hits on Danbrew. That's around 6,600 times what you'll find if you type in diaper. God, I hate babies. I hate every single thing about them. I'm not really sure why. Vaginas and large breasts just scare me for some reason. She's a real life woman. Real life women people in general equals a fetish retardant to me, except in very specific cases. Maid dresses are hot. I want to wear one. I don't fantasize about real life people because I'm well aware with the fact that I will probably never get to do these things with them. Hell, I used to find fantasizing about real life people to be pathetic and weird. With fictional people, I don't have to worry about all that because it's impossible for me ever do these things. As someone once said, you can get your audience to believe the impossible, but not the improbable. I know this is random, but I find sperm to be adorable. They look like little tadpoles. Most diapers are designed hold and smell though. I'm capable of telling which aisle of a store is the diaper aisle. It has such a distinctive and sweet smell. Ed, I never put myself in my fantasies. I find it too masturbatory and pathetic. My fantasies solely consist of me watching characters do something as if I was reading a manga or watching an anime. I never show up in my fantasies at all. Real people have imperfections and can hurt me. 
fictional ones can't. That's why I like them more. I totally want my hypothetical Japanese girlfriend to play guitar. So, I'm getting this urge to ship two straight male tropers I know for the hell of it, and because I actually would kind of find it cute. Has anyone else ever done this? I do like the idea of being romantically involved with somebody, but the idea of even just kissing somebody squicks me too. But sometimes I almost want to get surgery and identify as female for the rest of my life. I don't know why. Even being as liberal as she is, do you really think I can just ask my mom if I can buy Japanese porn? This thread depresses me. Not in its content, but how it shows me that I'll never get a girl slash boyfriend if I don't want to have sex or do anything overly sexual. I'm sorry I, I uphold myself to higher moral standards and dignity than you guys. I have no need for barbaric methods such as fighting. We develop societies for a reason. People who act stupid deserve to be treated badly. You fuck up, you pay the consequences. Why the hell would I hire a hooker? I have standards, you know. Okay, the diaper fetish hate is getting ridiculous. I'm near reporting all of you for trolling. Emi, you have reminded me why I almost completely abandoned being attracted to real life people. So many imperfections. No matter how good they get, there's always a problem. No matter how sexy they become, there's always a flaws. No one is perfect. Anime characters, they have no flaws. They are perfectly beautiful. What is it with the vast majority of the human race and sex in public places, especially important ones like holy sites? I mean, decency, people. Decency. I'm starting to realize how conservative my values are compared to a large amount of this forum. My mom keeps saying that I wear too many skinny jeans and that it's making me look gay. No, I wouldn't go out with her, because unlike a vast majority of human males, I don't think only with my dick. No girl I ever date would be a whore. I have standards. God damn it! I'm not a furry, but RFS switch draws some hot anthros. I mean, I think I'm not a furry. I don't want to be a furry after all. I'm sorry, but I'd rather rise above the stereotypes of men being sex-hungry perverts. Sorry if I hold myself to higher standards. I wouldn't really have problems dying a virgin. At all. Blame my life then. I can trace all my psychological problems to a few very bad school years. Doesn't stop the endra endless derogatory comments against my fetishes I'm receiving. I'm starting to get fucking sick of this. I endure enough bullshit in real life. Most Japanese names are hot as fuck. I hit on people online exclusively. I'm too scared that someone will take it the wrong way IRL, and I can think out of my advances in advance. Okay, fuck this thread. I'm leaving it for the day. Your holy crusade against me succeeded, since I'm apparently too wrong for this thread. I'm not fucking shallow. Males are not my thing. Sure, I find some other characters attractive, but Christianity plays sexual mores ban me from them of a sorts.